A lot of people found it remarkable that the overall uh, consumption of media went up by about an hour from last year, uh, which was a lot more than the growth from the year before. Two things. One is that uh, digital consumption continues to increase. In this report, in particular, smartphone uh, consumption went up by quite a bit. We found uh, about 20 million additional smartphone users, adult smartphone users, year to year. Uh, but the other part is that the traditional media have stabilized. So live TV had gone down a lot year to year last year and was down very little, just three minutes per day this year. So it's growth on the top and stabilization on the bottom. Consumers continue to diversify their choices uh, as they buy new devices and acquire new services. So we continue to see growth in tablet and smartphone. Uh, continued growth in PC, even though PC is still pretty widespread. Tremendous growth in TV-connected devices like Apple TV, Roku, Amazon Fire, and, and things like that. Uh, but at the same time, the traditional choices remain very, very strong, and uh, their, the report of their demise appears to be premature because uh, most media consumption is still live TV and radio. Yeah, I have to say that uh, coming from the client side, one of the great things about the Nielsen panel is that we're not just measuring television consumption, we're measuring all the devices that are connected to the television as well. And we know that this is an area for tremendous growth uh, because people spend a lot of time watching video on these devices when they have the chance because they're not holding the device, they're not using their cellular plan for the, device, uh, for the use of the device. Uh, these are things that they have a broadband connection that is feeding the device. And uh, a lot of this is taking place in homes that have access to SVOD, such as Netflix, Hulu, Amazon. Uh, and we're seeing most of the growth in the device taking place on device, the multimedia devices. In effect, we've seen a doubling of multimedia device usage across all demographic groups year to year. Well, it's interesting that uh, DVR uh, penetration has been stable for 18 months, 24 months, something like that. 49, 50% of homes have a DVR. And at the same time, uh, uh, SVOD penetration, so access to Netflix, Hulu, or Amazon, or any combination thereof, has been growing a lot. So it went up eight points since last year, and they're meeting now at 50%. So 50% of homes have a DVR, 50% of homes have access to SVOD. Well, it does tend to be younger householders that do this. So householders that are 18 to 34 are much more likely to have this than householders that are, are 50 plus. And we also know that there's a pretty clear division in the population between householders who are uh, 18 to 34 and 35 plus. If you're 35 plus, you're much more likely to use a DVR. If you're under 35, you're much more likely to be using a video game console or a multimedia device.